Calvin Brown Sr. Mm -hmm. I'm married to Shirley for 42 years. I have two kids. I live in District 2. I grew up in District 2. I live at 1701 Dito. 1701 Dito, we'll be in District 2. Dal Buster is my home. I'm retired from the United States Army as a first sergeant of the military police company, the 250th man person company. I went on to my second career with the Department of Defense. I'm retired from it. So now I'm applying for a job as city council. <laughs> I have the time. Since I retired, I have worked more than 20 years helping veterans in Dalbosta volunteer to get their entitlements. I'm one that helped establish the Dalbosta Veteran Clinic here. We brought the moving wall to Dalbosta. Dalbosta, I was involved with helping establish the June team. Some of you probably remember the late Ms. Mildred Hunter. When I retired, she called me and said, what are you doing now? I said, nothing. She said, I got a job for you. Get over here. The library needs books. And you know Ms. Hunter, you didn't say no. I'm available. The growth in, in District 2 has been great. We've added the Department of Labor. We've added the Fire Department up on Park Avenue which lowered our insurance rate. The senior citizen building went up on Park Avenue. There's been a lot of growth in the area. However, there's room for more. We just built the brand new Pineville Elementary School. But we wasn't thinking about sidewalks when we built it. We put sidewalks around the school. But if you look on Holiday Street, Spivey Lane, that water is going to flood right over there. It's a drain problem in that area. Valdoster is going to be a metro city. And the other problem we had was J.L. Newcomb when we built it. We didn't look a little bit further for putting that sidewalk from Forest Street. We need to look at a project completely before we just put one out. If you're like me, I would bring the experience of two careers to the table. Believing in starting a problem, a, a project, and ending the project. How long it been since we've been working with the Martin Luther King program down the Martin Luther King pro, uh, project? We need to finish the project. Law enforcement, that was my entire career. I'm concerned about the safety and the security of our family and our kids. I will be your voice in City Hall if you elect me. I will serve District 2 as proud as I served in the United States Army where I received my purple heart. If you elect me to City Council, thank you.